The Grattan conflict and the violent death of Conquering Bear would have a lasting effect on young Crazy Horse. It formulated his opinion about white people. This was the foundation for his attitude because of this incident. And, and here on, thereafter, he, he had no trust. He held no trust out toward the whites. Shocked and confused over the past day's event, young Crazy Horse went forth on his first vision quest. It was common for men of the Plains tribes, the Lakota, the Crow, and the other tribes, to seek visions. And these visions, or these dreams, could be the instructions by which a man would basically follow his life. It was a, it was a type of prescription on how to conduct your life. He went to an isolated area and fasted and did not take water for a period of four days and four nights. And denying oneself water and food will weaken the body physically. And, and in our way of thinking, that process opens the body and the mind up to receive the vision. He went through that process and he got his vision. And essentially what his vision was, was his own future. In his vision, Crazy Horse was told to avoid adornment and to seek simplicity, to take nothing from his people and to go into battle as their leader without the lavish accoutrements of a successful warrior. Ominously, he also saw in his vision his people surrounding him, their arms engulfing him, holding him, holding him perhaps for his enemies. And he saw a great warrior charging and his enemies. He was also told the arrows and the bullets would never kill him, that he would uh, always come out of battles un unscathed and or untouched by these flying objects, and he never was. <laughs> 